Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video. I uh, I was able to get the wheels on one side of the car today. We finally, finally got a pretty day in Alabama. It's been raining cats and dogs for the last week, but they look great um, to me. <laughs> they look great. Um, I took a red Scotch Bright. I decided on that and sanded them up a good bit, scraped them up, scuffed them up, and they polished out really good. I'll show you. Um, this one I didn't do so much. I, I actually started on it uh, while it was on, after it was on the car. But the one on the back here, it's um, it's a little more fresh. But a good couple hours of that, and you know, of course, redoing the centers black. Got to take the centers off and um, redo the hardware, get some new hardware. But I found out that on the car, and actually, this is a good opportunity for me to show you. I found out that the the lug pattern on the back I thought it might be a 4x114 because they converted it to disc and so I didn't know if they had changed that over but behind here I wish I had the wheel off so I could show you the the, uh, the fuckery that they did here but the the rotor you know is is attached with two screws back there well the screws are, are flush mount with the rotor supposed to be well they use two big screws probably bolts with big ass heads on them and so they're protruding they're sticking out and I, I could barely get the wheel on there with only two of the bolts and you know these these cars have the the wheel bolts instead of just the lugs sticking out and that's what sucks it's really hard to get them on there but uh, I did get it on there finally. It took about it took like 30 minutes to get get the damn thing on there. But of course, I'm going to flip this eventually and see how it how it looks and you know sticking out. But like the fitment on here is you, you can tell these were were made for this car. And let me give you that little angle here. So you can see like. You know, they fit fairly flush with the fenders, especially when it's dropped. You know, that's going to look really good. I want to show you underneath the car, too. Well, I'm at it. Let's get down here on my belly. All right. So that's the Dodge rear end uh, that they put on there. And you can see I'm going to have to really get rid of this rusty exhaust. It's so awful. Uh, it sounded good, though, when I had it. Uh, I don't remember the name of the of the struts that I've got back there but the uh, and, I, and I don't really remember the name of the lowering springs either man it's been a long time I thought about clipping those you know I know all about the safety and you know bouncing up and down radically but you know the car doesn't weigh much so I might just for just for aesthetic purposes you know might clip them see what it looks like I don't do the heating thing you know when you heat them they, they just get lower and lower until the car uh, it's just sitting on the ground. We had an MR2 like that one time. We bought it that way. It was awful. Went to go get taxes done, and uh, the car, we came back out, and it was sitting on the ground. But, but yeah, these cleaned up well, guys. Like, I'm, I'm very, very excited. And the, uh, the backside uh, lips, too, like, they, they cleaned up really good. So I'm going to go in and put some of my PV Blaster on the, on the hardware and see how that see how that does and maybe I can get get a difference made in these because as you can see on the other side God <laughs> I mean, they, these are so so pathetic that tire has had it but yeah this is a better shot of the damage that was done by the lawnmower man or whatever and if any of you guys know where I can get any one of these pieces here, it will be much appreciated because the whole car is going to be redone. And just for reference, this is my Jaguar. It's a 97 XK8. I had waxed it, but man, that rain has just, has just took its toll. I'm going to get my car poured out here soon and try to... Uh, try to get these things under cover these damn lights on here like they they fog up so bad I, i've had to use 
some of the moisture absorbers in there. I did modify them though. I put I put a set of custom high beams in there because they were the other ones were rusted and ugly. But but yeah, this car is uh has really has really been awesome. I mean, it's been reliable too. I mean, it, it does have an oil leak whenever I crank it up. So I'm gonna have to check and see if a seal or something is is leaking. But it has a warranty. Um, I got the uh, the full powertrain warranty on it because I didn't feel like putting an LS in it yet. So if the engine goes, I can do another Jag motor and put my money in this car because that's what it's all about, right? Got to fix up the project, so. But yeah, folks, till the next time, um, probably have a weird-looking uh, set of rear wheels on there with them turned around, so stay tuned. See ya.